Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to use a stovetop espresso maker. So as you can see right here, I have a stovetop espresso maker and this will be a video tutorial that demonstrates the process for using one of these. So let's get right to it. Uh, the first step is to unscrew the top portion from the bottom portion. So I'm literally just going to unscrew the top portion and put it right over there. And if you take a look at the bottom portion, you can see that there is this little uh, piece right here and there is a filter piece that you can remove. Just like that. So I'm going to remove the filter piece and place it to the side right there. And I'm going to fill this with water. Now usually I would go to the sink to fill it with water, but I have uh, already just put some of the water into this glass just so I can fill it um, without having to head on over to the sink. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up with water. And just to give you an idea of the amount of water, I'll just show you right there. That is sort of where the water level is right there. And um, one of the key factors to making a good tasting espresso with a stovetop espresso maker is when you put the filter in. So when you put the filter piece in right here, um, the water should be just barely above the filter level. So as you can see, there isn't any water in here uh, right now. So that means that I need to add just a touch of water. So I'm just going to go ahead and add just a little bit of water into there so that it, the water level sits right above the filter piece. That is the key to making a delicious espresso on one of these. So as you can see right there, I have added a bit of water and the water level is just barely above the filter piece. So basically the next step is to take the espresso grinds right here and use a spoon and put it inside of the uh, of the filter area right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use a spoon and I'm going to carefully carefully put the espresso grinds into the filter area. Just try not to make a mess um, and do not pack down the espresso with the spoon. Some people make the mistake of packing down the espresso grinds inside of the filter area. Do not pack it down. You can level it off but it, do not pack it down. If you want to make a really delicious tasting espresso, then you should definitely not pack it down. So as you can see, I'm just leveling it off just like that and I'm not going to pack it down. All right, so now that I have basically filled the uh, filter area with the espresso grinds, as you can see right there, the next step is to get the top, uh, the top piece and to tighten it into place. So I'm just going to get the top piece and I'm screwing it clockwise into place. And I'm just going to really make sure that it is nice and tight. All right, so the next step is to get the uh, stovetop espresso maker and place it on the element just like that and turn the element on its uh, turn the element on to its highest setting so I'm going to go ahead and turn the stovetop burner on to its highest setting and now all that I have to do is basically wait until the espresso starts to brew and the water starts to make its way up all right, so now that the stovetop espresso maker has been on the burner for quite some time, you can see that the espresso is starting to make its way up through the middle portion. So I'm just going to keep this closed right now. But basically, all that you have to do at this point is just wait for it and it will start to it will start to become quite loud as the espresso makes its way out and as the water and so forth make make as the water and everything make its way through the center portion, you can hear that it becomes louder. And now it's just simply a, a waiting game. So I'm just going to wait here and you can sort of pop it open just to keep an eye on how it's doing. Um, but you know, it is, it is quite hot so be careful. Just wait for it to finish brewing and once you hear the, uh, the sound stop just like that, it's starting to get quieter now. All that you have to do is turn the burner off and then take the stovetop espresso maker and just move it off of the stove, uh, off of the burner right there. And that's basically it. As you can see right here, I, oops, sorry, I have made some really, really great looking espresso and I made it all with this stovetop espresso maker. 
And that's basically it. In this video tutorial, I have shown you how to, how to use a stovetop espresso maker. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.